Welcome to the Reaper installation video tutorial. This video tutorial will illustrate how to download and install Reaper Digital Audio Workstation on your MacBook in just under 20 steps. Reaper is a complete multi-track audio recording, editing, processing, mixing, and mastering environment. Some of its uses are outlined below. If you aren't familiar with our tech website yet, there are a number of helpful tutorials which are organized by topic in alpha order. To see what kind of documentation we have available for Reaper, let's click on R. I'll go ahead and open the Reaper documentation so that you don't have to. Follow along with me by clicking on the hyperlinks when prompted to do so. This video will automatically pause when an action is required on your part, and I'll wait until you're ready to continue. Are you ready to install Reaper? Click here to begin. Great, let's start with step one. Download Reaper by clicking here. Now your machine should be downloading the reaper.dmg file along with mine too. When you finish downloading the Reaper installation folder, click here to continue to step two. Download the Reaper user guide by clicking here. The user guide will open as a PDF file in a separate tab. You may want to save a local copy for future reference as this guide corresponds to the version we are installing. When you finish downloading the user guide, click here to continue to step three. Open the Reaper DMG file, agree to license, and drag Reaper to the Applications folder. If you will be using Reaper a lot, you may also want to drag it to your dock. Step three you'll have to do locally on your own machine, so when you've finished, click here to continue to step four. Purchase a discounted license here and copy key to clipboard. Now you are being redirected to the Reaper website where you can enter your payment information. Once your license is purchased, you'll want to copy the license key to your clipboard by selecting Command C on your keypad. This is the simplest way to import the license key, as you'll be automatically prompted to do so when you open the application. Are you ready to open the application? Click here to continue to step five. Open Reaper and enter your admin password. When you've finished entering your admin password, the application will open and detect your Reaper license key. This screen will prompt you to import your license key. Once you've opened Reaper, click here to continue to step six. Click OK to import the key now. When you have finished importing your license key, click here to continue to step seven. Download the lame encoder here so that you'll be able to export projects as MP3 files. You'll need to complete a few additional steps to ensure the program works efficiently and is compatible with our needs. Once you are finished downloading the lame encoder, click here to continue to step eight. Unzip and copy the file to the Applications folder. Watch me do it first, and then you'll have to complete this step locally on your own machine. Open the file from Downloads, extract it, and then drag it to the Applications folder. When you have finished, click here to continue to step nine. Download the Reaper config here. Please note, you do not have to unzip this file. When you have finished downloading, click here to continue to step 10. Download the Reaper plugin. When you have finished downloading, click here to continue to step 11. Go to Reaper's Preferences. Now you can maximize the Reaper application and click on Reaper Preferences. When you have finished, click here to continue to step 12. In general, click Import Configuration. When you have finished, click here to continue to step 13. 
Select this file from your downloads and click Open. Watch me do it first, and then you'll have to complete this step locally on your own machine. When you have finished, click here to continue to step 14. At this screen, click OK. When you have finished, click here to continue to step 15. Check these boxes and click Import. You will be automatically prompted to import the configuration file, which will require Reaper to restart. When you have finished and the application has restarted, click here to continue to step 16. From the Apple menu, select Go and click Go to Folder. When you have finished, click here to continue to step 17. In the empty field, type this path. You can copy this path from the Reaper documentation on our tech website. Watch me do it first, and then you'll have to complete this step locally on your own machine. Open the Reaper documentation and copy the path in step 17 to your clipboard. Then paste the path in the empty field and click Go. When you have finished, click here to continue to step 18. Open this file in your downloads. You'll see that there are three files in this folder. When you have finished, click here to continue to step 19. Copy or drag this file into the user plugins folder. When you have finished, click here to continue. Congratulations, you have successfully installed Reaper. Let's look back at what we did here today. Downloaded the Reaper application and user guide. Purchased and imported the discounted license key. Downloaded the Lame encoder. Downloaded and imported the Reaper config and Reaper plugin. Updated Reaper's preferences.